PC services in Ilkston up in Derbyshire. Is that correct, Paul? Correct. We have dropped in to find out what their fixed head machine of choice is, and there's a clue in the background. Well, what is it, Paul? Uh, these are Nakamura WT-150s. Uh, we've got three of those, and we've got one WT-100. Okay. First of all, though, Nakamura's, you're starting to see a lot more around the country, machine shops, obviously. Why is that? Um, well, really, they, they brought out, a few years ago, they brought out a new range of machines. They upgraded the old machines dramatically, new controls, made the uh, tooling much more powerful, much more rigid. Uh, and they were always a good machine before, but now they're really almost changed the game and, and I think we had to invest in, in the new technology when it came out. So we've had a program investment probably for the last three or four years. We've built up uh, a whole new range whole of them celebrity. now. Now you say you know, that they've changed it and upgraded but you had an old machine and, and yeah. one of the reasons you buy Nakamura's is the residual value. Oh, it was unbelievable, the residual, the residual value. I think it was, uh, we bought it for, well, I think we've, we sold it about 13 years later for half the price we bought it for. Right. So, yeah, the, the, the loss you make per year is really, it's not Again, much. It is, I mean, they're fantastic machines, fantastic yeah. in terms of machining, but that is another it, thing. Just it to causes a bit of problem because you actually make a profit when you sell it because you've written <laughs> it down so low and then you, all of a sudden you're, you're making a profit Not on a it. bad problem to have. <laughs> so, in terms of machines though, so the WT-150s and the WT-100s, might be an obvious question, what's the difference? Uh, it's not a great deal of difference. The, the 100 is, is a smaller machine, but it is a little bit quicker. Um, it's not quite um, as versatile as the 100, as the 150s. They've right. got probably a little bit more uh, oomph on the tooling and everything. But it, you do get that extra bit of speed if you need it for big volume components. If they're a little bit quick, yeah, we can. You might save a bit of time on, on yeah. cycle time. And stating your really bar diameter, I'm assuming the 100 is slightly smaller? Yeah, 44, I think we can get it, if we take all the inners out, we can get it up to 44. Okay, and uh, then the, the WT-150? Uh, I think that's 67 mil, two and a half okay. inches. And both twin spindle, twin turret machines though? Yeah, twin, twin spindle, twin turret. With the, with the Y axis? With the Y axis on one of the turrets. Okay, so I'm yeah. leading lead you into, you're able to do pretty complex, well, very complex parts yeah. on that. Yeah, you can make all sorts of parts, they're really versatile because you've got a, you know, you've got a lot of power tooling you can throw at, at any part. So if you want to make milled parts, fully milled parts you can, fully automatically. You know, it, it's very hard to um, automate a milling machine. But if you can mill it out a round bar, a lot of the time you're better off. Yeah. So we do do a lot of that type of work. And also, you don't really want to be putting your turn components onto milling machines. You know, your, your ge geometric relationships are all could be out yeah. and things. So if you can make it all in one with all the milling, the quality of the part you get off is far superior. Okay, so this gives you that total flexibility. And that's what this does. With the Y-axis yeah. and the intricate parts. And also, obviously the cost comes down yeah. as well. Less handling, less. But it's also cost effective to do your simple parts as well if you've got the right batch runs. Yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with simple parts. It'll do all sorts of, anything yeah. you want at all. You know, if you just want to part off, it's still a very, very good machine for any type of part. You do need a reasonable quantity yeah. Because of, to set such a machine, it does take yeah. a, a few hours at least, or maybe a day, to set a complicated part. Yeah. Um, but you do so you need a reasonable batch, maybe a hundred or so at least. Okay. But, but, but nothing do, does give you that flexibility. But you say in terms of setting things like that. But you're, I mean, realistically, you can change jobs pretty much every day on these machines and yeah. keep it running, keep it efficient. Yeah, we've got a, team, a really good team of people. We've got a, yeah. a couple of apprentices and two or three highly skilled guys on days, and we've got a, a, a team on of shifts that yeah. are all perfectly capable of setting these machines. Okay. So uh, we do, yeah, we, we do uh, train as, uh, everyone up as much as we can. So uh, we have the ability to switch the machine every day if we want. We should have the machine, if we wanted to, we could change the machine over every day. Okay, and say about apprentices and skilled guys, but also I presume great support from the guys at ETG who sell these machines. Oh yeah, yeah, fantastic. We wouldn't even think about buying a machine if we didn't have that support, you know, right. we, you do need that. If you're running these machines 18, 20 hours a day, you know, things are going to start to go wrong with them. You do need you yeah. know, support and, and you need it when, it when it does happen, you need it quick as well. Yeah. And no doubt, no doubts with that at all for me, the guys yeah. at ETG. No, that's Brilliant. great. We, okay. we wouldn't really, you know, we, we're an Nakamura user, we've used them for years yeah. and we wouldn't really change, to be honest. Well, I think that probably, does that give you confidence? Because they've been going manufacturing these machines since the 80s, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, we've, we've had them all th through the years. Well, we started, we only started in the 90s. Yeah. Uh, so, but I think we had one, 
Yeah, probably 2003, 2004, mm -hmm. yeah. when we moved here. So, yeah, yeah. we've but always just, had one. Just having that comfort, knowing Nakamura themselves have been going since the 80s, gives you that, that confidence yeah. in the machines, as well as many other things you've already mentioned. What about, yeah. in terms of like, your setting, your sales support, then the programming, I mean, the, the controls there, just yeah. absolutely fantastic. The guys love the new controls. Uh, they, the, the old controls were much compli more complicated. These are, have really simplified the whole programming process because a lot of it is feature orientated. It's not fully, but you know, if you want pockets doing uh, or anything like that, or you know, th there's a lot of cycles built in it yeah. and a lot of mathematical help that you can get for working out corners and things if you want. It's all built into the control. So you don't really have to go onto a CAD system. Right. You, we don't have a CAD system. We've looked at them and we just thought, yeah, we don't actually need them. Wow. So it's all, everything we need is on that. Statement. Unless engine. you're doing anything really complicated, yeah. then it, like a five axis, you know, something really, but so engineering made easy for ETG yeah, there? For what we're doing, yeah. you know, which is mainly prismatic work, uh, it's not form machining or anything, it's, it's absolutely perfect. fine, the control's perfect. What about material? I mean, any material then? I mean, looking around here, you've got a whole variety. Yeah, it literally is the whole variety. We, uh, we, we, uh, we start at plastic, we do a lot of plastic, surprisingly enough, on these machines. You wouldn't think plastic, but yes, they're great for plastic. Uh, <laughs> aluminium, we love aluminium, stainless, all sorts of stainless, 303, 304, brass, Well, obviously. I'm going to come to a couple of more materials in a minute. We'll look at yeah. the components very briefly. But also, what industries? I mean, it sounds like you've got total flexibility here. Yeah, all sorts of industries, mainly industrial equipment. Uh, we, we do fire suppression equipment, industrial equipment, a lot of printing machinery, uh, train braking systems. But we tend to avoid the aerospace or anything like that. We're not really into that, or yeah. automotive. But these give you that flexibility. And if I said to you, Quetel? Huh? If I said to you, Quetel? Quetel, Quetel, yeah, we make all the parts for the Quetel, which is a, a boiling water tap. Brilliant. Yeah, that's okay. a really lovely product. Excellent. And they, those are, parts have got to be absolutely perfect visually. Right. So you've got to get the part off without any damage, not even a slightest scratch. So well, any, that ties in with your parts catcher, which yeah. is from the guys at Hydrofade. Yeah. But I just, we've got a couple of parts here just on your right. If you could just talk me through very briefly those. Um, um, that's a part for a print applicator, I believe, uh, like a labelling machine. Okay, I'm assuming uh, aluminium. In aluminium, yeah. And it's an ideal part to just get off in one. Whereas historically, you might tr think you might have to m turn it and mill it, but no, you, a Nakamura can easily produce that in one go. I, I don't know what the cycle time is, but it's not really about the cycle time, it's more about the automation, the fact that you can just leave it running and it's producing that. Right. Done. Done. Okay, so yeah. leave it. Overnight even, yeah. batch run done. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And the next part, I mean, what material is this? Th this was a part we made for Crossrail, uh, and it's EN24T, very, very tough material. Right. Um, and we actually made that in, I think, just under two and a half minutes. Wow. Which seemed incredible, because to take all that material off, that shows you the power of the machine. We twin turned that. Yeah. With we, we did get some special grade tips. The guys did a really good job of the tooling, but yeah, to make that, and to turn that in that sort of yeah, cycle less time. less than three minutes and, yeah. and a really tough material. That's a great endorsement of the quality of these machines. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think we've pretty much covered it all. Is there anything else you want to add or? Um, no, not really, no. Yeah. I mean, no. it says it all just a massive smile on your face when you talk about these machines. So that's yeah. the Nakamura machines from the guys at ETG.